So let's say you're in a room full of 100 entrepreneurs and you happen to be one of them. Within the first year, 20 of these people in the room would be entirely out of the game having failed at their business endeavor. Fast forward to year five and half of the people in that entire room would be doing something else entirely. And by year 15, only 25 people out of the original 100 would be left. Simply put, starting a business is risky, but with high potential risk does come the potential for high reward. For me personally, I tried tons of different business ideas growing up, from mowing lawns to even swapping out light bulbs. But what we're going to look into today is an interesting thought experiment of what I would do if I had to start from completely zero, zero followers and zero dollars in my bank account right now today. Because just like we now learned, 75% of entrepreneurs are going to have to do exactly that within the first 15 years. And the first thing I want to dispel here is the myth that you need to either have a lot of money to begin with or come from money in order to be successful. That is completely false in my case. I got my first job when I turned 15 years old after my parents split up and I took on becoming an extreme couponer to help my mom make the most of our food stamps. After graduating high school, I went on to learn the electrical trade in college. Now, when I graduated college, I had a personal net worth of zero dollars and that meant that I didn't have any money in debt, but I also didn't have any personal assets. But right out of college, I ended up working for the local power utility company doing past due bill collections. I spent a little over two years working in that job and I began educating myself on building wealth by reading books like Rich Dad Poor Dad. And then in 2016, I launched my YouTube channel where I began educating people about these different things that I was learning about in these books that I just wasn't exposed to in high school. I had felt like the system was rigged against me or us in that case. And I wanted to figure out a way to get to the top and get out from the nine to five grind and build some serious wealth at a young age. In June of 2017, I quit the last job that I have ever worked since then on a Monday, leaving my badge sitting there on my desk. Now, at the time, I had a YouTube channel with about 10,000 subscribers. I was making about $1,000 per month from it, and my personal net worth was still about $20,000, so nothing really to speak of. And then from there, I dedicated myself full time to this YouTube channel where I scaled things up and eventually launched a personal finance blog in 2018, investingsimple.com. And simultaneously around this time, I also began investing in real estate in the area where I grew up in upstate New York. And in recent years, I've become an angel investor in a couple of different startups related to fintech, as well as the creator economy and even cybersecurity. In fact, one of my startups, Mesh Connect, was recently backed by PayPal Ventures, which is huge. And it might sound like this was a straight line to success, especially when I give you this super synthesized version, but I will tell you that it was not. I didn't become a millionaire until five years, half a decade after starting my YouTube channel. And there was a lot of time spent scraping my knees. But what I can tell you for a matter of fact is that if I had to do it all over again, I could do it five to 10 times faster. And that is because I have a definitive plan in mind that I didn't have back then because I didn't know what I was doing. Now I'm gonna show you that plan in just a second, but first a word from our sponsor. There are two things that often hold you back from success and that is having access to the right tools and the right information. These days, information is abundant and everyone has access to it. So that means that the tools that you're using or not using are what's actually holding you back. If you wanna get rich in 2024, leveraging an audience, you need to treat every one of your viewers as a potential lead. While I've made tens of thousands of dollars monthly from things like advertisements, affiliates, and sponsors, there's countless examples of people out there making millions of dollars every single month by simply selling a product or service to their audience. So what exactly is this tool then for scaling your business in 2024? Well, it's none other than our video sponsor, Nextiva, your all-in-one business communications hub. With Nextiva, you can manage all of your business communications in one place, and you can even create phone numbers in different area codes. This is great for cold calling leads or even managing existing relationships with clients. With Nextiva, you'll get access to unlimited calling, business texting, an auto attendant, voice analytics, and more. These features can make your business look as professional as a Fortune 500 company. Nextiva is one of the easiest ways I know of to potentially grow your business. So don't let your tools hold you back in 2024. Build a foundation for success 
for your business using Nextiva. Go to trynextiva.com slash Ryan Scribner to get up to 50% off your plan today, which is also linked up in the description below. Again, that's trynextiva.com slash Ryan Scribner to get started with up to 50% off. Talk to a Nextiva rep today to see if it's a good fit for you. Now let's get back to the video. So what would I do if I had to start over right now with zero dollars and zero followers at the age of 28 in the year 2024? The first thing I would do is go out and get a low stress job that would simply pay the bills. And I would make sure that this was a part-time job leaving me with a lot of free time. Now, if I was starting over as well and not in a relationship, I would also pursue roommates as this is a really good way to bounce ideas off people and also cut down on your costs. The goal here would be to keep my monthly nut under $1,000 and also to be working less than 20 hours or about 20 hours per week in order to have plenty of time to start a business. Well, that explains the setup then, but what about the actual business itself? Well, I would still get into the content game, but I would approach it much differently. You see, my entire strategy on YouTube thus far has been creating videos that have the biggest audience in mind. Simply put, I try to get as many eyeballs as possible on a given video or topic, and then I make money from the ads or the sponsors or clicks on affiliate links or even purchases of my book and things like that. But this is not the ideal way of doing it today if you're looking to make a lot of money and do it in a fast manner. Instead, what you should be doing is creating content with a very specific goal and target audience in mind. I would start a YouTube channel where I educated business owners and freelancers about how to leverage new AI tools in their business. I would then monetize this through ads, which would be the obvious, but that's not going to be the main source of revenue. The main source of revenue here is going to be selling consulting calls where I actually get on calls with these business owners and entrepreneurs walking them through how to use these tools in their business. And you could even use today's video sponsor Nextiva if you wanted to manage all of these customer relationships under one roof and have a place to do these calls. So let's say, for example, you charged $3 per minute and you offered both 30 minute and one hour calls that people could book. Well, that means you'd make either 90 or $180 depending on the call. And if you're taking a few of these calls per day, all of a sudden you could be making a few hundred dollars a day. But how do you get leads in terms of finding people who are going to pay you to get on a phone call with you? Well, that is, of course, going to come down to your content and the type of content you're creating. If you go out there and make a video called Chat GPT Tutorial, first of all, that's going to be extremely competitive. It's not very specific, and you're probably not going to get very many, if any, leads from that type of video. However, if you instead made a very specific video called How to Triple Your Real Estate Business with Chat GPT, all of a sudden, it's much more targeted targeted, less competitive, and you're far more likely to generate leads from that. From there, you're simply going to add tons of value in your YouTube video, teaching people things that they can do to grow their real estate business, for example. But at the end, you would mention that you offer this coaching business or consulting business. At that point, I would simply rinse and repeat this strategy, creating tons of different content, just like that video, that it will generate leads for this business. And eventually, just based on supply and demand, you're going to either need to increase your price prices or hire your own team of consultants who can actually take these calls for you. So let's say you did this and you went out there and started creating YouTube videos and you were doing maybe one or two videos a week booking these calls. And over the course of six months, you got to the point where you were getting three booked calls per day at an average of 150 a piece. Well, that right there is 450 a day or $9,000 per month if you worked five days a week. So just like that, you could be making a cool six figures with a simple consulting business business just leveraging digital content as your means for gathering leads. Well, this is where you could scale things by bringing in your own consultants to actually hop on these calls. So instead of you doing these calls yourself, let's say you hired three people to then do these calls for you, allowing you to triple your volume of calls to nine calls a day. Well, now all of a sudden, instead of making 450 a day, you're now making 1,350 a day. And even if you had to pay your consultants half, or $75 per call, you would still be looking at $675 per day in potential profit. But there's a huge difference here. You're not the one getting on these consulting calls. So now you can free up all of your time to just create YouTube or vertical video content, getting new leads for your business. And because you're not the one doing these calls, maybe you wanna have this going seven days a week, allowing you to make more money. So if you were making that 675 per day, well, over the course of a month, 
that's over $20,000 in profit. And then of course, if you wanted to make a cool million dollars, you could build that business up and sell it at a three or four times multiple on that annual profit, and there's your million dollar exit. So this is how you get rich in 2024. It's not by getting the most eyeballs or attention or clout or anything like that. It's having a very specific goal in mind, creating that content, and then making a system that can make you money. If you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you drop a like as well as subscribe and hit that bell for future notifications. You can check out my book, which is going to be available in person at Barnes & Noble. It's also available at libraries across the United States. You can find it on Amazon as well as an author narrated version on Audible. Click below to check out my video about five business ideas you can start with nothing in 2024, and I'll see you there.